Hey guys, welcome back, and today we're going to talk about NASIS with HDMI and what you really need to consider because so many of you make mistakes out there. So let's get started. <laughs> So you're considering your first NAS, maybe it's a QNAP, an Asus Dort, a Theakers, basically any of those NASs that have got an HDMI port there on the rear. Now these HDMI ports enable you to connect this NAS device to your TV, you know, your non-smart TV or even a smart TV or any device that has an HDMI port, even a monitor, and then gives you the ability to view the contents of that NAS. Now so many of you out there actually factor HDMI output into your decision when buying a NAS, but so many of you make the same mistakes because when it comes down to it um, having an HDMI port on NAS can be very very advantageous but when I talk about brands like QNAP, Asus, Dorton, Thekus for those three there are actually others out there probably five more for each of those that have the other brands out there that I'm not going to mention that have HDMI output but are terrible choices for a NAS the reason being that just slapping an HDMI output on the back of a NAS does not mean you're going to be able to access your media. The HDMI output on the rear of a NAS does still need software support on many, many levels before you can easily stream your media. Now, if you are considering a NAS with HDMI, these are the things you need to consider. These are the most important things you're going to have to bear in mind. First and foremost, you need to make sure the NAS that you're buying has an internal application that can display effectively via HDMI. Now some of the cheapy cheapy ones that you've seen on Amazon, some of those NASs that have HDMI output, all that happens is when you connect them to the HDMI port, all it does is give you a web browser type interface, like a real budget um, for, um, web browser interface that you see on your TV where the resolution is terrible and then you don't have an interface with which to control it. And the result is that the HDMI output works but it is almost impossible to control and ruins your audio and visual experience. Now, brands like QNAP, Acer Store, and Thekus, all of these have a dedicated HDMI output manager. Acer Store have ADM, Thekus have Thekus HDMI, and QNAP have HD Station. All three of these applications, what they do is provide a visual interface for that HDMI port. And the result is that once you activate that app, you go to their respective app centers and download it, you install it, and then after that, plug in your HDMI cable, you know, HDMI, and then turn on your TV, and then via one of those HDMI ports, one of your source, you know, click your source button, you will see that visual interface. Now, in the case of all three of those NAS brands, they all have their own respective apps that can be installed, and therefore you have a user interface that lets you select which one of those apps you want to open. So in some cases it's Kodi, sometimes it's Plex. All of them have a Plex interface that can be accessed via HDMI, so no streaming, as well as MB um, and their own proprietary first um, party applications to stream your media. Again, all three of them have the ability to have um, one of those apps boot by default. So you can you know, connect this and then have it, as soon as you turn on the NAS, boot up Kodi via HDMI, so that way when you turn your telly on, you're straight into the Kodi interface. Now, that's one of the main things that you're going to have to consider when buying an HDMI NAS, but there is one other thing, the, um, the input, because having it displayed via HDMI is only half the task. You want to be able to control the user interface. You're going to want to select, fast forward, rewind, skip menu, go back, select another app. You're going to need the means of control. Now, the Acer story here I've got on the table actually arrives with a remote control. This gives you up, down, left, right, it's got the power button, it's got volume, it's got skip, it's got all the rest of it. And this is included with this Acer Store NAS. The same with QNAP. There's a number of QNAP NASs out there that arrive with a remote control. Simple infrared IR user interface. And that gives you the ability to boot up the NAS and flip through the options, click select, and you know, via HDMI while from the comfort of your sofa. In the case of Thekus, they don't really have a remote control, but they do have a mobile application. And it is worth mentioning that both QNAP and Acer Store, as well as Thekus, all have mobile applications that let you install it and control the device that's coming out via HDMI with your mobile phone over the network. And again, a lot of those cheapy, cheapy NAS brands, and I'm not going to name and shame them, but a lot of those do not include a remote control or the means with which to control with your mobile phone. What they expect you to do is to attach a keyboard and a mouse. And don't get me wrong, that's still a good user interface because if you attach a keyboard and a mouse to any 
of the NAS brands I'm talking about. All of them will let you control via keyboard and your mouse click lock, see it on the screen. And some of them have dedicated surveillance applications or the ability to turn, them thing, uh, turn your NAS into a standalone PC via the HDMI port, attach a keyboard and a mouse, wallop. You've got a computer, Android, Windows, Hackintosh, you know, there the very few limits there, as well as in the case of Acer Store, you can turn this into an arcade machine, something I'm going to make a video about very soon. You can install uh, a supported emulator, a MAME emulator, for this, attach a keyboard, mouse, joystick, you've got a standalone arcade machine that also, at the same time, works as a NAS via the network and the internet for other users. But, if you don't get a NAS that has a dedicated HDMI software output um, uh, you know to handle all of that you're going to end up with a NAS that is basically a USB hard drive with a shocking interface not even a simple Windows file manager so do avoid those other ones and if you are looking for a NAS with HDMI do go into the comments below and in the description there's a link there to my article of the very best NASs with HDMI because remember some of them arrive with HDMI 1.4b which is pretty much the standard it does support 4k but it's primarily designed for 1080p and a much more limited 4k I think it's 30 frames per second 4k but if you go to some of the NASs such as uh, the uh, a lot of the AS series from Acer Store or the 82 series from QNAP they've got HDMI 2.0 which supports 4k all the way up to I think 128 bit, uh, megabits per second bit rate and 60 frames per second so do check those out do visit the comments below and do remember if you enjoyed this video to support this channel click like and subscribe if you enjoyed it this is very important it keeps the channel going but otherwise thank you so much for watching and don't forget to visit NAS Compares. Cheerio!